suspect arrested. Swansea police just revealed details at a news conference a short time ago on the successful capture of Kimberly Johnson. She's the woman accused of kidnapping her baby niece from a gas station and dropping her off in Connecticut. We now know Johnson was arrested in Pennsylvania after running from the law since Thursday. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Nwosu joins us now with the late details still coming into the newsroom. Well, Mike Karen, police say Kimberly Johnson lied to an ex-boyfriend, saying she gave birth to his child a year ago. She told authorities she kidnapped baby Jalen as proof. 38-year-old Kimberly Johnson was arrested last night, nearly a week after police say she kidnapped her half-sister's daughter, one-year-old Jalen Boudria. She was manipulative, calculating, strategic. Uh, uh, this was, uh, uh, from the evidence and the investigation, sir, it was evident uh, uh, that this was planned. Authorities tracked her down at a women's shelter in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Swansea police say Johnson was staying in the shelter under an alias and using stolen identification. They also found the stolen car Johnson was driving last Thursday when she allegedly abducted baby Jalen outside this gas station in Swansea. Swansea police say Johnson claims to have stolen the child in hopes of reuniting with an ex-boyfriend and starting a family. Evidently she had uh, contacted an ex-boyfriend she hadn't seen in uh, well over a year, claimed that she had been pregnant from him and... Uh, she had a one-year-old. Jalen's kidnapping triggered an Amber Alert. The infant was discovered hours later, alone, crawling outside in Middletown, Connecticut. This is a very dangerous situation, as you well know. I mean, she left a 13-month-old baby in an industrial parking lot. Johnson will answer to larceny charges in Pennsylvania, then return to Massachusetts, where she will face charges of kidnapping. Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.